Uh, greetings everyone, Chris here. So today we have another prepper challenge. We're going to look at uh, kind of a, a classic standby, Mountain House. So what I have here is Mountain House beef stroganoff with noodles. It says it's an entree that serves four. It's delicious anytime or anywhere. That's what they say. So uh, I bought this years ago. Uh, and it, it so this stuff does have an expiration date, which I was, I guess I'm not shocked, but I was, uh, I was curious. Like, what is it about freeze dried food in a sealed container that's going to degrade over time? This I bought in 2008, uh, and it has an expiration of July 2015, so it's five years past its well, what they call a best use by date. It's not an expiration date. So, this is, uh, it's, uh, Pretty easy to, pretty easy to, to cook. You uh, open the package, remove an oxygen absorber pouch, add four cups of boiling water, and then stir it up, and then close it, seal it, let it sit for eight, eight to nine minutes. Uh, it serves five, they say. It makes about five servings. Every serving is about a cup size. Uh, and uh, we're going to take it for a spin. So we'll open it up. We'll look at what the contents look like uh, in their from freeze-dried state, uh, we'll add some boiling water, mix it up, let it sit, and then we'll run it through a taste test, see how it how it how that tur turns out. This is what it looks like in its freeze-dried state. So I open the 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 pouch. Uh, we'll pour this back into the pouch to seal it in the pouch, just like the, the just like the recipe says. Uh, but this is it. This is what it looks like when it comes out. I did take out the oxygen absorber as they prescribed. Uh, I'll take a piece out. It really doesn't have any smell at all. Um, so maybe the, the smell will come with the tasting of it. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, we'll see, uh, see what it looks like when we add some boiling water and let it sit in the pouch for uh, about 10 minutes. All right, here we are. We've just added four cups of boiling water Pour it into the bag. We're going to seal it up, let it sit for about 10 minutes. All right, well, here we are. The bag is uh, sitting. It's got boiling hot water in it. The bag is hot to the touch, without a doubt. Um, I, it is not leaking, all right? So you can, there's no water coming out of it. These things are made to hold the liquid. I did want to look at the nutritional value on this real quick, just so you could kind of see that this isn't something that you're going to want to eat every day. Uh, I'm specifically looking at the sodium line, right? So 33% of your daily sodium is going to, you're going to get out of one, one serving of this. And it wouldn't surprise me to see a person eat two servings pretty easily, which would be 66% of your daily sodium. So yeah, this stuff is made to last, but it's probably not something that if you can help it, you're going to eat every, every day, but an emergency is an emergency, right? And your sodium intake may be the last thing that you're worried about. Uh, but just wanted to be mindful of the nutritional facts. All right, well, here's the final product. This is Mountain House Beef Stroganoff. Uh, followed the very basic instructions, which is uh, very similar to ramen noodles. Uh, boil hot water and add and stir, and then let sit. So, uh, you know, it's, I guess, kind of like what I would expect Mountain House to be. This is uh, this particular packet is at least uh, 12 years old I want to say uh, and it expired five years ago so uh, yeah we'll give it the smell test I can't smell anything it's yeah it smells like uh, doesn't really have much of a smell to be honest but we'll uh, we'll give it a smell test we'll give it a taste test but this is what it looks like if you've ever gone camping and brought mountain house uh, instant food with you this is kind of what it looks like my wife suggested that you could spice it up, but kind of the point of uh, preparations for <laughs> crisis is that you may not have the stuff you need to spice it up. But uh, anyway, we'll taste it without the spice for the rest of the batch that we have. We'll probably we'll probably spice it up if we're gonna eat it over the rest of this week. All right, let's see how this tastes. All right, we've got the got the Mountain House beef stroganoff. It's a little hot still. Uh, just got it out of the bag where it's sat for about 10 minutes. I have about one serving here. I'm not going to eat the whole serving. 
but uh, it looks like there's four basic parts to the, the ingredients here. I'm sure there's a lot of chemicals in it, a lot of sodium, um, but there's some kind of meat, which was dehydrated, the noodles, there are some mushrooms, and then there is sauce, right? So let's see if I can get one bite that has all those things in it. Yeah, it's not real flavorful. Um, and I don't know if that's attributable to it being past its best use by date or, uh, or if that's just the way it tastes. I haven't had Mountain House in years. Uh, but I think the calories will probably still hold up. You get to get some nutritional value out of it. So um, for what you're, trying to, what you're trying to get done, this would probably work. Yeah. I can't... Uh, I can't vouch for what it should taste like under normal, uh, you know, under best use by date usage, but uh, this will this will this will this will do, right? And this stuff is at least 12 years old, five years past its best use by date, uh, because it had a fairly long shelf life to begin with. I think I bought it in 2008, and uh, best use by it was 2015. So yeah, I would definitely give this a thumbs up. I'll uh, I have quite a lot of this stuff, so I'll be tested again in a few years see how it compares but uh thanks for watching we'll see you next time